Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome I'm Nicole Chantel and if you like everything beauty then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a part of my makeup family. With all that being said let's jump right into this video. Hello my loves so it's the most wonderful time okay yeah I can't sing of the year. <laughs> So, you all know that Sephora has their holiday sale percentages off event going on now. So, I'm going to list the three statuses. So, Rouge starts October 30th, which has already started, till November the 9th, and you will be getting 20% off. The code will be Holiday Fun, and the code is going to be the same for the VIB, which will start November the 3rd, and it will end November the 9th, and you get 15% off. And then Beauty Insider starts November the 5th, will end November the 9th, and you will get 10% off. So I'm going to be talking about my favorite products because right now I think it's the best time to pick them up during the sale. I won't be talking about any skincare products because there's a lot of skincare products that I've been using that aren't from Sephora. So I'm going to start off with primers first. And if you guys have been with me for a very long time, you already know what primer I'm going to be talking about. And it's the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This one here is the original, the first one. Everybody fell in love with it. I'm still in love with it. Um, the only thing I will have to say is that it took me two years to hit pan on this product. And as you can see, I just have like around the ring left now. A little bit of this product goes a long way. And I find that it just makes your makeup look so much nicer and smoother and soft. And on days when I don't want to wear foundation, I will wear this by itself. And it looks like my skin looks finished. I also have applied underneath my eye area and I find that it really smooths out my under eye area as well. I do have the liquid Silk Camps Primer, which I absolutely love as well. Uh, which one is better? I don't know because I'm such a diehard fan of these two products, but I just love them. This one here does the same thing. Just put a few pumps onto your face and a little bit of the product does go a long way. I do have it on today. It definitely makes my foundation look nice and smooth and it's just a really beautiful product. But I will have to say though, I recommend that if you are interested in this primer to pick up the mini for the simple fact because the mini does retail for $28 Canadian. And like I said, it took me two years to hit pan on this. So that little mini one will last you a very long time because a little bit of this product goes a long way. Now next up is foundation. I am obsessed with this foundation. I know it a lot of people have been on the fence about it. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Some people just call it a really good primer. And if you guessed it, it's the Becca Cosmetics and this is the Zero Pigment Foundation. I love this foundation. I actually have it on today just with my e.l.f. concealer and I find that it just makes my skin look so nice and finished. It's like, you know, a primer foundation. It's giving you a nice coverage. I really do love it. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, this is pretty gimmicky, but you know what? I personally really like it on days when I don't want to have a full face of foundation on and I just want to have a little bit of concealer. My arm keeps on hooking into the products. <laughs> um, yeah, so if I just want to have a little bit of foundation on and then just a little tiny bit of concealer, as you could tell, I'm after using a lot of this product. So on days when I want to have a natural looking Face. this is what I use and of course it comes with a little tiny applicator as well and it's very cooling to the skin too and when I apply this I actually just put a few little dabs here on my cheek my chin and my nose and my forehead area then I take my little beauty blender and I blend it into my skin then I go in with my elf concealer and I just put a little bit of concealer here underneath the eye area chin above my lip nose and forehead area and blend it all out. And I really feel like when I'm looking at my monitor, my skin looks so good and it's so healthy looking and I love that natural finish. Like I'm all about the natural makeup look and this foundation definitely does it. Now, if you want to have a full coverage foundation, and you know what I'm going to say, it is the YSL All Hours Full Coverage Matte Foundation in the shade BR10. In other like foundations, I am porcelain because I am very pale. This foundation here is beautiful. It will give you a full coverage. It will give you a matte finish. So if you're all about matte finishes, 
this is the foundation here for you. If you are worried because you have dry skin, which like I do, I was really afraid at first when I started using this, I was like, mm, I have dry skin. That's not gonna be really good with a matte foundation. And my majority of my dry skin is on my forehead, like really, really bad to the point, like sometimes where my skin just flakes. But this foundation here, however, it does not do that. It stays in place, it goes matte, it's a full coverage foundation, and I love how it makes my skin look. It is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. So like I said, do not worry about it if you have dry skin. Um, the great thing is like with Sephora, you know, if you try a product and it doesn't work for you, you could bring it back. So all of these products that I'm talking about today are recommendations, but sometimes products, you know, that work for me won't work well for you or vice versa. So just keep that in mind. But this here, holy grail, holy grail of matte foundations for a very long time. So let's talk about contour, shall we? And I'm just gonna call it CT, Charlotte, because I always have a hard time saying her last name. A few people are after correcting me on it, but that's okay, I can't help it. <laughs> but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer, and this is the matte bronzer filter for face and body. And mine is in the shade number two, which is medium. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bronzer. I have it on my face today and it just melts into my skin. I just love the finish that it has. Another thing that I like about it too is that you can pop this out once you're done and then just buy the replacement. Such a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. In this one here, you are getting a total of 0 0.56 ounces. So this is gonna last me a very long time. Like I don't even know when I'll hit pan on this. And this is a bronzer that I've been using every single day. Once again, it just complements my skin really, really nice. At first I was going to get the number one shade, but when I looked at it, it looked too, too pale and it wouldn't show up very well on my skin. So if you are fair like me, number two will be the perfect shade for you. And of course I have to mention a face palette and I cannot do this video without mentioning this face palette. It's by Natasha Denona as the Bloom Blush and Glow palette. This here has been a go-to face palette of mine for such a long time. And I have this here on today, the blush like the cream product. And I also have the Glow Extreme, which is right here. And I always say that I love the little plastic um, cover that it has. I was having a moment. <laughs> a cover to protect the cream products. Once again, you don't have to be afraid of this because it looks so intimidating. And I do have this on my skin today as well. Um, but don't be afraid of it. It is a beautiful, beautiful product and it blends out so nice. I just like to take my beauty blender and just dab slightly into it because it is very pigmented if you go in heavy handed. So I just take a small amount of product and then just dab it onto my face and I blend it out. This whole entire palette is gorgeous. It's been one of my go-to face palettes for such a long time. Highly recommend it. Next up is a Patrick Ta product that I have to talk about that I'm so in love with. I love Patrick Ta as a makeup artist, as a creator, and I love his whole story behind his line. Like it's showing everybody's natural beauty. Like really, we don't need to go in with a full face makeup and cover up our beauty because we shouldn't. And that's what I love about his products so, so much. This here is a blush and cream duo. This one here is called Oh She's Different. And of course I have this on my face today. All the products that I'm talking about today are on my face. <laughs> so once again, we have the plastic seal, just like the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow palette. And this here is so beautiful. So, and then we have the blush right here. So there's the blush and here's the cream. And these products are so gorgeous and they blend out so, so well. Just look how beautiful this is. And I love how, easily this product applies. Like I like to go in with the blush first and then I go in with the cream and it just gives me the right amount of finish color to my face because when I am so pale. Sometimes I do find that blushes have a tendency to fade on my skin, but this one here is absolutely gorgeous, really, really beautiful. And I love his packaging as well. So now we are going to talk about a highlighter. And yes, I'm going to be talking about the Benefit Cosmetics Cookie Highlighter 
because I love it so much. <laughs> and as you could tell, I have a big pan going on right here. I have the highlighter today on my skin and my tip of my nose, above my lip, and then the inner corner of my eyes. And this cookie highlighter is just so beautiful. Just look at this. Like it is gorgeous. Once I'm fully finished, of course I will be getting a full size of this highlighter. And the smell is so good as well. Just an all around beautiful, beautiful highlighter. So to set my face all in place when my foundation's on and my concealer and my blush and my bronzer and my highlight, and I like to blend everything together. I like to buff everything together. You all know it. You know I'm going to mention it. I can't help myself, but it's the La Mer Sheer Press Powder in Translucent. I do like a head swing, like as if I have here. <laughs> But anyhow, this here I've had for such a long time and I still haven't hit pan on it. Like I've had this, gosh, like how long ago did I buy this? Anyways, it's definitely over its expiry date, but you know what? It still works. It makes my skin and everything blend beautiful together. And it is just really, really gorgeous. And I just take my brush and I just buff it around the outer perimeter of my face and then on my nose. I don't apply it underneath my eye area because I do find, you know, I am 39 years old and I find now that when I apply powders underneath my eyes, you kind of can see the lines a little bit, you know, so I kind of avoid that situation. <laughs> but once again, it just blends everything out so, so well. And it really makes my makeup look finished. It makes my makeup last a little bit longer throughout the day. All in all, just a beautiful, beautiful powder. So let's talk about my brows, some brow products. And of course they are by Patrick Ta. And it is the Shaping Wax. And this one here is the tinted one. I actually have it on my brows today. Now, a lot of people were kind of up in the air about this product. Like a lot of people were like, oh, it's no good. It doesn't really work. It's, you know, not the greatest, but here is the tinted one. So what I like to do is I like to take a little tiny bit of setting spray or even water, just a little tiny drop because if you put too much water or setting spray in this product, when you brush it into your brows, your brows will become soapy. Trust me, when I first used it, I was like, huh, what is up with this? So I had to find a happy medium to make this product work. So I do have the tinted one in my brows today and I really love how full my brows look, how like that feathery look they have, like the laminated look. I'm really happy to where my brows are right now. This is the only product that I have in my brows. Didn't go in with no brow pencil to like, you know, draw them on or anything. I just really am obsessed with this brow product. And here is the clear one. So on days when I really don't wanna to fuss too much with my makeup, I do go in with the clear one, just the clear one by itself. And once again, we have a nice size mirror, just like the tinted one, which is right here. And here is the clear. So of course it looks like there's no product in it, but there is. And once again, you do have to go in with a small amount of water or setting spray. And then I just take my spoolie, if I had it here next to me, oh, just one moment, it's on my makeup table. Um, I take my spoolie, which is the Patrick Ta brush. Sorry, didn't mean to blind you. Not paying attention, Nicole. <laughs> and I just take the small amount of water or setting spray and I just brush it back and forth and then I take it and I brush it into my brows. And it is just beautiful. So on days when I wanna feel dolled up, I will go in with the tinted one. And on days when I just wanna have a kind of a casual, relaxed day, <laughs> I go in with the clear one. Highly recommend these two products. Now let's talk about lipsticks because of course, I'm gonna mention Patrick Ta product. I love Patrick Ta, once again. And this here is the lipstick and it's called Oh She's Different. And they are matte lipstick, but I really don't feel like they're a matte finish. Like I would kind of put them on the line of a demi matte, but they are so comfortable. This is what I have on my lips today. It is such a beautiful nude shade. It has like that gorgeous like pink undertone to it because I will say this and say it again, I always find that I have a hard time with nude lipsticks because where I'm so pale, I find that they either look beautiful on me or they make my lips disappear, which is not a look I'm going for. So this one here 
is just beautiful and the packaging is gorgeous as well now on top of the lipstick i do have a patrick ta gloss and this one here is in the shade she's an influencer this gloss is beautiful it has such beautiful like reflex of pink and purple and you have a little bit of a blue in there as well and this gloss is extremely comfortable to the lips it's not tacky it's not sticky it glides on so well and it's just above the lipstick here. As you can see, the shine in it is just so beautiful. Another thing I like about this gloss too is that it does not change the color of the lipstick. It stays true to like that glossy, clear color. But these two products here are beautiful and I think that you would love them. And if you're not looking for a nude lipstick in his line, he has a variety of different shades as well. And two eyeshadow palettes I'm going to be talking about. So this one here I have to mention, and it is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Volume 2 palette. I didn't purchase the first one because it didn't call my name. However, this one here definitely calls my name. I use this palette so, so much. The quality, the pigmentation, how they blend is amazing i did use this throughout all of october in my halloween videos i just couldn't help myself i really can't tell you which one is my favorite shade but maybe it is feeling myself which is this orange matte shade right here and oh this is so gorgeous and it just blends out really nice like that's just one shot one shot what am i thinking about <laughs> one swatch and just look how pigmented that is and how well it blended out just an all-around gorgeous gorgeous palette another thing that i like about it too is that you could do like your neutral looks and then going like from day to night or if you want to do a neutral look with a pop color you can really really beautiful and of course it wouldn't be a sephora holiday recommendations video without this eyeshadow palette and it is the Huda Beauty, the New Nudes eyeshadow palette. This palette has been my ride or die eyeshadow palette for such a long time. So much so that like in my favorite videos, I actually realized that I was mentioning this palette like every time. I was like, okay, Nicole, you have to stop it. You got to show your other eyeshadow palettes some love. But this palette here, I absolutely am obsessed with. I'm wearing it today on my eyes and I just love the look I created with this palette. And I just love the tones in here. As you can tell, it's very well used. You can see a lot of dents in the shadows. And I think this is such a beautiful palette because you could go from day to night. Everyone could wear it. I think it'd be flattering on everyone's skin tone, everyone's eye color. I think it's just an all around beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palette. And it's just, mm. It is just gorgeous. So there we go. There are my recommendations for the Sephora holiday event. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you going to pick up any products that I mentioned today? Or are you going to pick up something different? Or are you going to pass on the sale? Am I picking anything up during the sale? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I will. We shall see. <laughs> but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, stay safe. Love one another. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.